Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm the biologist from the Biospheres Expedition. We work in the Azores. The Azores are a group of nine islands about a thousand miles off the coast of Portugal, in the middle of the Atlantic. We mainly work around the three central island groups of Fayal, Pico and San George. We're based here in Horta, which is a very nice sheltered marina, which is where we're doing the video at the moment. You can just see our boat in the background over there, the white catamaran that we're using. So what are we actually doing out here? Because the islands are in the middle of the ocean, we have very deep waters and we have a lot of animals that pass on their migration uh, going through. Have some target species of the blue whale, the fin whale, the sci whale and the sperm whale are our big whale targets and we photo identify them using different markings. The blue whale has a mottling pattern on the side. The sperm whale, we're using the tail to identify different individuals by the markings and we can track them from year to year. The marks don't actually change very much. So this one, for instance, is number 1019. She's been seen since 1988 and then was seen in 2006 and pretty much every year since 2006. In 2010, we saw her with her first calf and now last year, 2012, her calf has started to die. So hopefully she'll be back this year and the calf will now be independent from the mother. Why do we do this? We want to know where these animals are going when they're not in the Azores. We have some matches for the sperm whales. We've seen males that have been seen in the Azores have been recited in Norway. So there's a link between the animals moving from place to place. And if whaling should ever become an issue again, you can show that the animals aren't all separate um, individual populations, that they move from place to place. Nobody really knows where some of the big whales go for breeding. We know that uh, they pass through here in March, April and May. And they're seen up around Iceland, Greenland, uh, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia uh, in the summertime for feeding on the big upwellings of krill and fish. Most of the time, if there's food here, they'll stop and have a snack on their way, but usually they're just traveling. And that allows us to get a good picture behind their dorsal fin, behind their blowhole, sorry, and then their dorsal fin as well. The fin whales with their white jaw on the right side, we use markings called a chevron just behind there. And the side whales, just the dorsal fin for identifying them. So that's what you are involved with. We have a program that will match the sperm whale tails so we can see if some of the animals are seen from year to year, who we've seen before, who's new. And we also have some target species of the smaller varieties as well. The bottlenose dolphin and the rissose dolphin are both resident here all year round. We take pictures of their dorsal fins and you can have a try to match some of the scratch markings from the rissos so you can see who's who. So we hope to see you here and join us on the Azores expedition.